Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to increase website speed and performance using SiteGround Optimizer plugin in WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So, we are using SiteGround hosting, that's why we are using SiteGround Optimizer plugin. Now, go to Page Speed Insight to check mobile and desktop score. Mobile score is 58 performance. Go to desktop and desktop score is 71 performance. So we are going to increase it. Now go to dashboard again. On left side you see plugin. So click on install plugin. First you will delete all unused plugin. So I already deleted plugin. Now we have all active plugin. On left side you see appearance. Then you see theme. So click on it. And after deleting plugin you will delete unused theme. So currently I am using Hello Elementor. Currently we have only one theme. All other themes I deleted already. Now go to plugins and click on add new. In search plugin write side ground optimizer. So this is plugin we are using. When you install WordPress in side ground hosting. Side ground optimizer plugin already installed. So scroll down on left side you see side ground optimizer. So click on it. Now side ground optimizer dashboard open and scroll down you see caching status enable caching 2 by 4 and scroll down you see other optimization environment 1 by 3 enable front end 0 by 6 enable media 0 by 3 enable. Now you see different option go to environment go to front end go to media scroll up on left side you see caching environment front and media also. So click on caching first. Now you see caching types, dynamic caching, file based caching, memcached. Now you see dynamic caching enable recommended, file based caching recommended. So enable this. Now success file based caching enable. Now you see memcached enable. Now you see error. So we are going to fix this. Now we are going to side ground hosting to enable this option. Now we are in side ground hosting. On left side you see speed so click on it and then you see caching so again click on it and now you see caching level and then you see memcached so click on it. Now scroll down you see memcached name all site so enable this. Now you see message success memcached enable for all site then you see action so flash cache so click on it. Now success. Now back to WordPress dashboard. Now we are in WordPress dashboard again. Now you see memcached. So enable this. Now you see success message. Now scroll down. You see cache setting automatic purge recommended. So already enable. And scroll down you see manual cache purge. Exclude URL from caching. If you want you can add some URL you want to exclude from caching. Now you see pencil icon. So click on it. So you can add URL and then click on confirm. Now scroll up on left side you see environment. So click on it. Now environment setting open. You see HTTPS enforced recommended. So enable this option. Confirm. And scroll down you see fix insecure content. So enable this option. Enable this option in case you are getting insecure content error on your website. And then you see WordPress heartbeat optimization. So this is also recommended. Now you see WordPress admin page disable recommended option already selected. Now drop down you see different option. Then you see page and post drop down 120 second recommended. So option is already selected. And then you see side front end. So disable recommended and already selected this option. Then you see schedule database maintenance recommended. So this is currently disabled. Now you see message when schedule database maintenance functionality is enabled. We will clean up your database once a week to keep it small and optimized. So click on edit. Now pop up open and then you see database maintenance option. All tasks that are tick will be performed auto once a week. Now you see different option. Perform database optimization for my ISM tables. Delete all auto created post and page draft. 
if you want you can enable disable now you see delete all page and post revision if you want you can enable this option enable this delete all post and pages in your trash delete all comments mark as spam delete all comment in your trash and delete all expired transients so if you want you can enable this option also then click on confirm now you see success message schedule database enable now you see now on left side you see front end so click on it then you see multiple tabs css javascript general now you see we are in css many css front end minify css file recommended so enable this option we are using sideground optimizer plugin because we are using sideground hosting and scroll down you see option exclude from css minification now you see pencil icon so click on it so if you want to exclude some css then you can add link like this and then click on confirm now you see combine css file so enable this option if you want to exclude from css combination click on pencil icon so you can select file according to your requirement and then click on confirm now you see preload combine css so enable this option now scroll up then you see javascript tab so click on it and now you see many javascript front end minify javascript file recommended so enable this option now you see success message and if you want you can exclude from javascript minification so click on pencil icon now you see so you can add link and then click on confirm and then you see combine javascript file recommended so enable this option now you see success message and if you want you can exclude from javascript combination so click on pencil icon so you can add link and then click on confirm and now you see defer render blocking javascript so enable this option now you see success message again and then you see exclude from referral or render blocking js now you see two script already added now click on pencil icon now you see link if you want you can add more link and then click on confirm now scroll up you see general so click on it and minify the html output so enable this option now you see web font optimization so enable this and now you see font preloading two font already added so click on pencil icon now you see so if you want to add more font to be preload then click on plus so you can add font link and then click on confirm then scroll down you see different option disable emojis and now you see remove query string from static resources so enable this option and then on left side you see media so click on it then you see compression setting image compression recommended so currently disable now click on edit now you see compression level drop down select according to your requirement so i select medium and then you see backup all original image i enable i want to compress my existing images if you want you can override images with custom compression level so it depend on you and then click on confirm now you see success message and compressing images then scroll down you see use webp images so enable this option and then click on confirm now you see converting images then scroll down you see media optimization so enable this option lazy load media so enable this and scroll down you see exclude css classes from lazy load exclude media type from lazy load if you want you can add now you see six media type pencil icon now you see thumbnail responsive two more now you see iframe mobile if you want you can exclude and then click on confirm now setting done and then on top you see purge sg cache so click on it now done and go to website again now add url and then click on analyze now running analysis now you see our mobile performance score is 81 and go to desktop and then you see desktop performance score is 93 so by using sideground optimizer plugin you will increase mobile score and also you will increase desktop score performance and our wordpress website is hosting on sideground hosting that's why we are using sideground optimizer plugin now again you see mobile score 81 our previous mobile score is 58 
now go to desktop our desktop performance score is 93 and our previous score is like 71 now scroll down you see mostly issue is fixed now you see accessibility also 96 back to wordpress dashboard again so you will enable disable option according to your requirement and then you will check your website speed again by using page speed insight so it depends on you so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching